in this video we will explore how google bard can be used in making websites and apps now when we are making websites it not just coding it also has content which can be textual image or videos etc it also has a design such as how many sections do you want on the page where should be the text placed where should the images be placed etc it also has interactivity such as what happened when i hover over a button what happens when i right click on an element etc the website may have particular theme or color based on the brand color and the list goes on because there are many different things involved there is no single prompt that can do everything it can do everything and straight away give you the website you want you can get help only with one or two things at a time you cannot get everything all at once secondly there are some things where google bard is not much of use for example in case of site navigation say we want to open a particular page when a particular menu item is clicked all such destination addresses are to be set by only us similarly if you want to put any image at some particular place in your website google bard cannot generate that image you or fetch it for you it will save you more time if you do such things yourself so let me tell you where google bard can actually help you google bard can help in mainly these three areas content design and code first it's content and this is where google bard is being used based on the description that you give it google bard can give you a search engine optimized content which we can put on our web page so the text that user will see on the page that is being generated using google bard second is design here the role of google bard is usually to give you options or general guidance you can ask what all sections should you have on your home page what all menu items should be there etc google bard will suggest some things and if you like any of the options you can use those the third part is code now google bard has the ability to write the code of all types it can give you html css php javascript and all other codes that you would require but the issue is in telling google bard what you require because explaining the entire design of your web page to google bard is difficult so what you can do is ask for small code modules and once you get them from google bard you can integrate those modules into your own code for example you can ask google bard to write code to shake the buy button or move the buy button a bit if the user is not interacting for 5 seconds once you get the code you can use this code module in your own code this way you can save a lot of time while also maintaining complete control over your own code now just to show you the capabilities of google bard i will ask it to create an informational website of my brand start tech academy all the things here will be generated by google bard that is code design and content in real life we will need to do a lot of things to make it usable but with this demonstration you will see the capabilities of google bard so let's go to google bard now Here I have written my prompt that I want to create a website for my business, Start Tech Academy. We teach data analytics and machine learning through self-paced learning. The website homepage should have a section about Start Tech Academy, a section about instructor's profile, and a section containing a contact form. You can add sections as you feel the best. Based on this, give a detailed description of the website homepage design. Let's submit this. So you can see that Bard has given me a detailed website design. It has main banner in which a large zero image or video showcasing the data analytics and machine learning. Then there is about section, instructor's profile, featured course, benefits of self-paced learning, student success stories, call to action, additional sections like blog, FAQ, resource pages. and client testimonials these are optional then there is designs and user experiences and lastly there are some additional tips for creating good web page 
By incorporating these elements and focusing on user's experience, you can create a website homepage that effectively attracts potential students and promotes your StarTech Academy as a leading provider of data analytics and machine learning education. Now, based on this design, I will ask Google Bar to write HTML and CSS code. The websites are usually based on HTML and the design comes from CSS. So I'm going to ask to write HTML and CSS code for this website. So here's my prompt. Here I have written based on the design information you gave above, provide HTML and CSS code to create this website. Generate sample descriptions, testimonials, etc. on your own. Also, wherever there are images, give links to actual images from the internet. I will change these images later. Make sure that the content and the images fit responsibly. This means is if my website is open on a mobile phone or other device, it should look good. Let's submit this. So it has written the code. First we have HTML code. Then I asked about CSS. Then we have CSS. You can notice here that it has given some source of images also like here and you can see here as well so we can replace these images later on this is what i was saying earlier to you that there is no point in giving all the image sources to google bard and asking it to put it here get the code from google bard and do this modification later on on your own so do not depend on google bard to write the code exactly you want get the code snippet modify it yourself and then use it now if you want to add or remove something from this code you can write further prompt like if you have three instructors or if you want to add more testimonials then you can write in further prompts now how this website is looking for checking this we need to copy this code and paste it in text editor you can use any text editor like notepad, notepad++, sublime text, etc. So I will paste my code here and I will save it as HTML file. So here I have saved it as index.html file. Now in another sheet, I will paste this CSS code. And I will save it as style.css. So this is my index and this is style and the same reference is available in the html file that the style sheet is style.css so now to open this file go to the folder where you have saved these codes so here is my index and style so i will open my index in chrome so you can see that this is the website that it has created here is the logo explore courses here is the about section and here is the section of instructors our courses and benefits of self-placed learning and lastly there are student success stories or testimonials now of course it needs a lot of formatting to make this usable and you can add more things like contact section which you can write in further prompt that you want to add a contact section as well and for formatting these sections you can ask google bard to write the code for formatting these sections and bard will write the codes which can format these sections like if you want to show the about section text on the right side of the screen then you can write in google bard that you want to show the text in about section on the right hand side now you can change the links of these images in your code. You can ask Google Bard to write a JavaScript for this website to make it more interactive and so on. So in this way, Google Bard can give you all the codes and design that you need, but you cannot get it in one go. You will break it up in smaller parts, get the info for the each part from Google Bard and then combine them together. To make a good website so that's all in this video see you in the next one thanks